Hey there, and welcome to a whole new series for the channel. Even though I don't consider myself a news channel, some new reveals have kind of forced my hand to jump into this new scene, with a new batch of reveals from the new Transformers Studio Series Gamer Edition figures. There are three of them, all from War for Cybertron. And considering my main audience, I figured I'd give you the info on these new figures and give you an honest assessment with how they compare with their in-game counterparts. So, we're just gonna get straight to it here. Starting off with Gamer Edition figure number one, Bumblebee. Okay, so this figure is of course a deluxe class, and is based upon Bumblebee's appearance from Transformers War for Cybertron. And, just by first impressions, I don't think he looks very good. Although, to be fair, I don't think the majority of deluxe figures these days look that good. They are way overpriced, and way too scaled down compared to what they used to be. So, let's just have that on record. That aside, let's run through my main issues with the figure. Main issue number one, the chest looks abominable. Seriously, that is just so bulbous and unsightly. I mean, I get what they were going for, but it didn't work. <laughs> uh, shoulders also look really puny, and the legs are really bizarre as well. I think the arms look alright too, but the chest, oh god, the chest just looks so bad. And speaking of the chest, one of the details there is wrong. That front section at the bottom should not be black. It should, in fact, be yellow. Now, there are some positives. I appreciate the fact that they gave him the Energon Battle Pistol, and it's actually a swappable arm, so huge points for that. If I wanted accessories for War for Cybertron figures, that is exactly how I would want them done. And as a bonus, they even gave him his short sword. And they even went as far as to give him his plasma cannon. I have to say, I am very impressed with the accessories portion of this figure. Got way more than I expected. Well, let's talk alt mode. So, vehicle mode, I think, looks substantially better. It's definitely a bit crude with some of the panel lines, but I can tell what it's supposed to be, and I think it replicates the game version pretty well. They even added the panel lines on the wheels. I appreciate that. Obviously, it still has that section on the front that should be yellow, but most of the color placement seems to be on point. Yeah, I think overall the alt mode is not half bad. So this guy is retailing at $25.99, which is ridiculously overpriced if you ask me. Of course, this is coming from a guy who remembers when deluxes used to be 10 bucks and they were bigger. This is why I don't really collect Transformers anymore. They're too small, too poorly detailed for the price. And I think this guy's horrific chest just isn't too good. But I can say that about most of the deluxes these days, so if you don't mind the scale, this might work for you. But for me, nah. Alright, let's move on to the next figure. Studio Series Gamer Edition 2, Barricade. Admittedly, this is the one I was most excited about when I first heard it upon that rumor list. Seeing it now, I'm a little underwhelmed. Anyway, proportion-wise, I think he looks way better than Bumblebee. He does suffer from quite a few color placement issues, though. So, let's run through that now. For the majority of the figure, I'd say it's pretty accurate, but his chest and head are a bit off. Mainly the chest. The chest should not be that dark. Barricade only has a few dark spots on his chest, with the majority being that lighter color. And the secondary color in general is a bit off. It's not supposed to be black. It is a very dark purple. Which, you know, maybe the black is a bit tolerable, but the fact that there is so much of it on the chest just... kind of turns me off a bit. He does have a lot more detailing compared to Bumblebee. I can make out his leg detail on his knees. He's got the fire armor section. His crotch is a little under detailed, but his arms look all right. He's got that one dark piece on his shoulder. If they had painted his chest a bit more accurately, I'd like this a lot more. For accessories, he has the Neutron Assault Rifle, 
Unfortunately, no torture sword from what I could see. That would have been a nice inclusion. But the fact that they're sticking with swappable gun arms is great. I love that. Turning over into alt mode, I think this looks really good, considering the circumstances. It looks like they captured the alt mode pretty darn well. Yeah, the proportions seem pretty on point. He's got his brush guard, he's got the stripes up there. This is really nice. I think he could use a bit more white on the back section of the car, but that might have to factor into transformation, so... I'm not sure, but alt mode looks really nice. Quite a bit better than Bumblebee. And last, but certainly not least, we have Gamer Edition Free Voyager Optimus Prime. This, naturally, is the highlight of the reveals. And I think, mod-wise, he is the best of the bunch, but he is not without his flaws, so let's run through him here. I'd say from what I can tell, color placement looks pretty accurate. The mold seems pretty darn good. Nothing seems too terribly off from what I can tell. I'm not surprised this mold is as good as it is, because even that old deluxe was exceptionally good. Well, the main issue I have with him, at least for the paint apps, is the dull plastic gray look he has. At least for his legs. It's really unsightly. <laughs> dull plastic gray never looks good. Well, anyway, I think the majority of it is pretty good. There are a few missing paint apps, like the little red he has on his abdomen, and the blue square on his upper thigh. But in general, this looks really nice. Moving over to accessories, he has got the ion blaster and his butterfly axe. So, again, they're really killing it with these accessories. Oh, and on top of that, you could actually open up his chest and see the Matrix of Leadership. So they put a lot into this guy. So, let's truck over to vehicle mode, which again looks really nice. Yeah, I don't have a lot of criticism for this guy. I like the sculpting on the wheels, looks on point. Mold-wise, this looks incredible. And the accessories they're including are just icing on the cake. So this guy is really nice. Not perfect, but very, very nice regardless. And this guide retails for $35.99. Still a bit steep compared to the 20 it used to be, but, but still, it's a bit more worth it compared to the deluxes, so I could see picking this guy up for maybe a cheaper price. Alright, and that is my analysis for the Transformers Studio Series Gamer Edition figures. This will probably be a reoccurring series whenever there are new reveals. What are your thoughts on these? Do you like them? Are you a little disappointed? Let me know. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Don't know when we'll get more reveals from the Studio Series Gamer line, but when we get them, I'll cover them. Well, that'll do it for this episode. I will see you next time. Till then, don't be bulbous.